Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, guys. During the game broadcast, I thought I heard the announcer say that our O-line leads the league with 25 holding penalties for this year. If true, what are causing these? Is there technique lacking? Is the quarterback holding the ball too long? Are the defenses we've been playing that hard to handle? What do you attribute this to? Holding calls are drive killers. Our O-line is considered a top group in the NFL. Hey, love the show, and let's beat them Steelers this weekend. Bye now. So appreciate uh, all of the voicemails. So, yes, the Browns do, in fact, have the most holding penalties um, in the NFL ahead of the, uh, the Lions and the 49ers and the Packers and the Titans. So um, some very good run teams. So that could be attributing factor is, um, you know, the style that you play. Let's welcome in Casey Kinneman from Dog Pound Daily. And Casey, um, when you look at it, I don't think it's necessarily tech technique you got to remember guys were banged up and beat up teller in in particular you had froholt playing a lot um it's a number of things some of it's fluky um but a lot of it is the style that they play and you look at the top teams and they all have a similar style yeah uh, of those 25 four of them are actually on skill positions dpj has three kareem hunt has one uh, Wills leads the the team in, in holdings. Conklin's got four. You got Treader, Betonio with three apiece. Uh, Froholt has one. Interesting enough, Pochich doesn't have any penalties at all accredited him this year. They were accepted. You know that's that's something to go on. But I think holding so subjective. Like it's something that literally happens on every play. It's just whether how the play unfolds, whether you know light gets shown on it. You know if a quarterback scrambles away that an offensive line didn't really predict. And they all of a sudden the defensive end has his arms outstretched. You know you're going to get that flag every time. You know, and it's, it's it happens every play. It is unfortunate, and the the caller's right. It is a drive killer, ten yard penalties, but those are effort penalties. And I'd much rather see those than false starts or illegal shifts or delay of games. You know, the Browns need to clean all that up. And you'd like to see them have less, but the reality is there's a lot of teams in that range from you know 18 to where the Browns are at at 25. Yeah, and, and again, um, some of the teams are, are highly successful. You know, the 49ers are arguably the best team in the NFC or playing as well as anybody in the, in the NFC at the very least.